the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me my very soul shall shout hallelujah praise God for saving me when I think when I think of the goodness of Jesus every day and all he has done for me my very soul my very soul shall shout hallelujah praise God praise God for saving me you carry me when some carry dear God you feed me, Lord, when some feed their God. You fight for me when some fight for their God. I say, Jesus, you know they use me play. Oh, no, no, no. You know they use me play. Oh, yes, Lord, you carry me. When some carry their God Oh, you feed me, Lord Why some feed their God Lord, you fight for me Why some fight for their God Almighty God, Jesus You know they use me play ah, ah, I say, you know they use me God, unchangeable God, dependable, dependable God. It doesn't matter what comes my way, you must be God. I say, intentional, intentional, intentional God. Everything is working for my good. Oh, yeah, good. You, you are, are good. Jesus. Jesus, you are good. Can you go ahead and bless His holy name? If He be good to you, if you are sure this God will be good to you, lift up your voice and just tell Him how good He has been to you, how good He has been to your family, how good He is to you in your business, in your career, in your ministry how God has stood by you how God has defended you how God has fought your battle how God has healed you how God has blessed you with good health how God has supplied your need how God has met you at the point of your need can you open your mouth and just say Lord indeed you are a good God you are an intentional God can you lift up your voice and just thank him for Johnny Messis at all times oh Mariba Kasantali for washing over you on a daily basis for not abandoning you for not denying you for not forsaking you give God glory give God honor give God adoration our God is ever faithful our God is ever loving our God is ever caring oh man reba soon talibaba zabone ka soon taliba shentelia di potelele ka soon tali robode ka soon talama shantali thank you for what you did mommy yesterday thank you for it's another wonderful day another glorious day thank you for counting you among the living thank you for what you have in store for you today thank you because of his package for you today oh lord we are grateful thank you because you will not mourn you will not weep today you will not sorrow today appreciate god hey jesus mighty name we are worship lift up your voice to him this morning and say father your word it is written that you are the father of mercy and that you are rich in mercy today oh god 
let your mercy prevail over judgment in my life lord let your mercy prevail over judgment in my life in my home in my family lord show me mercy one more time today lord your word it is switching your mercies are new every morning lord show us mercy today lord show us mercy today that will not know your wrath will not know your anger will not know your indignation lord just show us mercy oh my reporter passing talia that did show us mercy today thank you mighty father in jesus mighty name we are praying i just want to say a better amen. amen lift up your two hands and say father by the power in your blood you can do better say father by the power in your blood let me overcome every evil plan of the wicked against me today against my family today Lord God Almighty by the power in your blood let me overcome today can you go ahead and touch the Almighty God that by the power in the blood of Jesus <laughs> the wicked will not prevail over you today <laughs> oh no evil projection no satanic programming <laughs> shall prevail over you today. Pale basika tala brandi, jebolo gazin tali. In Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. Zechariah chapter two verse ten says, "Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion, for lo, I come; I will dwell in the midst of thee," said the Lord. I'm praying for you. God's presence will envelop you today. God will dwell in your home today. God will dwell in your business today. God will dwell in your offices today. And because He will dwell in your midst, you will not sorrow, you will not weep. He says, Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion. O sons of Zion, lift up your two hands and say, Father, let me rejoice today. This is the day that you have made. And your word it is written. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Therefore, O oh God, give me reason to rejoice today. Can you go ahead and pray for yourself? Can you go ahead and pray for yourself that the Almighty God will give you reason to rejoice today? <laughs> Lord, let me rejoice. Let me rejoice. Let me rejoice today. <laughs> oh, Daddy, let me and my entire household rejoice today. <laughs> In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Lift up your two hands. Whatever the enemy has packaged for you and your family, to sorrow and to weep today the Lord will arise and scatter it by fire because he had commanded he said rejoice O daughter of lift up your two hands and say father whatever the wicked have concluded whatever the enemy had packaged to bring sorrow to me and my family Oh God, Arab, scatter them all by fire. Lift up your voice and talk to the mighty God. Malek akuka pa yalabo shantalia. Gale kasanta ali mama. Whatever they have package, whatever are satanic conclusions concerning you, concerning your family, so that you weep today, so that you weep this week, so that you weep this year, let your God arise, scatter them by fire. Ah, mama, 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 kale gaga ba 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 ba. Oh, my riboto gasantalia. Whatever they have package. <laughs> Salega gaba shente le boskata mama 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 kaka ba le ba shantalia hey Jesus my chine we have prayed lift up your hands and say Father 
come and dwell in our midst. Come and dwell in my home. Come and dwell in my family. Come and dwell in my business. Come and dwell in my career. Come and dwell in your church. Be in our midst today. Can you go ahead and talk to the mighty God? Kalibaba, Kasanta, Alibaba. Lord, dwell in our midst. Lord, be in our midst today. In all that we do, your presence will not depart from us. Lord, let your presence and your glory envelope us in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Lift up your right hand and say, Father, in your name. I command this day and that throughout today only your will will be done in my life only your counsel will start concerning me anything contrary to your will in my life in my home in my family oh God my father take care of them go ahead and talk to the mighty God take authority over the day <laughs> that only the will of God will be done <laughs> Only the counsel of God will stand uh, concerning you today. <laughs> Every agenda of the wicked uh, shall be frustrated uh, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus, mighty name, we have prayed. Finally, lift up your choice. Brethren, I pray for you today. Your heart desire shall be met. I pray for you today. Wherever my father will hear a louder amen, amen. your expectation will not be cut short. Amen. So lift up your voice and say, Father, amen. you know my heart desire. Amen. Let my expectation not be cut short. Amen. Let me not know disappointment today. Amen. Oh Lord, grant my desire. Amen. Can you go ahead and talk to Almighty God? That he grant my heart desire. My heart desire of lifting. <laughs> my heart desire of the supernatural. <laughs> the, my heart desire of miracles, uh, signs and wonder. My heart desire of promotion. My heart desire of breakthrough. Ah, palima to gazan talima ma. Ah ah, kali bobo kashen talia. Rabade kason tololo. Zaza laba kashen talia. That they grant my heart desire. <laughs> Almighty God, grant my heart desire. King of glory, grant my heart desire. Grant the heart desire of all your children. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we have prayed. And so, my Father, my God, we want to say good morning. You are our maker. You are our creator. You are our deliverer. You are our healer. You are our promoter. You are the supplier of our name. Daddy, we say may your name be exalted in the name of Jesus. Lord, you counted us among the living today. Not by mind, nor by power. But by thy spirit, yes, the Lord. Daddy, we say thank you. Thank you because many are the desire of the wicked over our life. But you never allow them to come to pass. Daddy, I set our thanks in the name of Jesus. For all you'll be doing in our life, Daddy, we say thank you. For what you did in our be yesterday, we say thank you. For another bright day, we say thank you. Daddy, it's in your name I pray this morning that for every one of your children, because you are the father of mercy and you are rich in mercy, Lord, let your mercy prevail over judgment today in the name of Jesus. May we not, oh God, know your wrath in the name of Jesus. And by the power in the blood, Lord, we ask every satanic conclusions, every evil package for anyone under the influence of my voice, by the blood, let them be nullified in the name of Jesus. By the blood, let them be cancelled in the name of Jesus. Daddy, your word it is written. Sing and rejoice. O daughters of Zion Therefore my father my God In your name I decree In the life of every one of us today We will sing and we will rejoice 
Only the shout of rejoicing shall be heard in our hopes in the of Jesus. I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, man. Whatever the enemy have concluded to make you weep, to make you sorrow, this day, this week, this month, this year, let God arise, scatter them by fire. The counsel of the wicked shall be disappointed over your life. And whatever your heart desire today, one after the other, let them be met. Whatever are your needs today, be it physical, spiritual, financial, material, let God supply all your needs in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that in that name that is above every other name, the presence of God will dwell in your midst, dwell in your life, dwell in your home, dwell in your family, dwell in your business, dwell in your career dwell in your workplace in the name of Jesus and as you have taken authority over this day I decree anyone born or woman that have planned to work against you today let God contend with them in the name of Jesus today the almighty God will guide and lead you in the name of Jesus Today, the work of your hand will prosper in the name of Jesus. Today, you will not hear any evil news in the name of Jesus. You will not die before your time. And I decree any negative dream you have had by the blood of Jesus, they are cancelled. It shall not come to pass. And I decree anything you have eaten in your dream that have poisoned your system by the blood of Jesus, let them be flushed out. No, in the name of Jesus. Kamaka to Bazinta Lebra de Casantalia, Shafa to Hedge the other, Palebo si Palega da Gazantalia. Anything stolen from you in your dream anyone that have come to collect a good thing from you I command let them return sevenfold anywhere they have concluded concerning your death and you have been dreaming of caskets let that casket catch fire in the name of Jesus I don't know who that woman is that they were sitting upon you. You saw them sitting upon you in that name that's above every other name. It is your turn to sit upon them in the name of Jesus. Let God cause your glory to increase, cause your greatness to increase in the name of God the Father, God the Son. God the Holy Spirit amen. say that amen seven powerful times the grace <laughs> praise the Lord what else again huh? yeah a little bit right huh? <laughs> praise the Lord the almighty God is worthy to receive all the glory. He has done great things and forever I will worship and magnify his holy name. The God that did not allow my enemy to rejoice over me. And did not allow me to suffer defeat. His praises shall continually be in my mouth for the rest of my life. I declare and I confess concerning me and my household that we shall shout for joy always. The Lord will call things of rejoicing. 
to happen to us every day of our lives sorrow and weeping shall never be our portion anything that causes men to weep and sorrow shall be taken far away from me and my household I declare say loud and clear I declare and I confess that the Lord God Almighty shall forever abide with me his presence and his glory shall envelop me all the days of my life I shall not know shame and I shall not be afflicted as long as the Lord dwell with me I will not know untimely death and the Lord will satisfy me with long life the Lord shall abide with me and signs and wonders shall follow me all the days of my life I declare and I proclaim that the presence of God shall be with me and no obstacle or barrier shall be able to stand on my way doors of blessings and breakthroughs shall be open unto me and I will swim in overflowing blessing for the rest of my life I will finish well I will finish strong my ending shall be far better than my beginning I will not go to hell I will reign in eternity I will love the Lord and I will serve the Lord all the days of my life in Jesus name can you bless the Holy Ghost for one minute masuka leba shenta li mama zululo kapunda le brande kasanta li shishalema kuta gaza blande kasunta li ne pra oto gazinta li mama kashenta li and so shall it be in Jesus name everything you have declared everything you have decreed everything you have proclaimed everything you have confessed God almighty we hasten to bring them to pass I pray for you the words of your mouth will not fall upon the ground and any power that want to withstand your declarations let God destroy them in the name of God the Father God the Son and God the Holy Spirit I thought you said that amen three powerful times two and put your hands together make a joyful noise unto the Lord celebrate your victory oh I thought somebody can do it better than that I thought you can scream amen and amen and amen do I have your permission to prophesy into your life hear me as I hear God your day of honor shall surely come you didn't get that one <laughs> hear me one more time your day I mean your day of honor shall surely come if you believe that Lord you may be the loudest let me be seated as we begin a new journey this morning the appointed time for change can you say that loud and clear for who in whose life when next week next month next year 10 years time hear me as a year ago your appointed time of change has come. Amen. Job chapter 14, verse 14. Job 14, 14. I want us to read it together. Want to go. If a man die, shall he live again all the days of my, of my appointed time? Will I wait till my change come? See who's change? 
Will God answer you or not? Beloved, <laughs> experience is the best teacher. And you know what? I want your faith level to increase this morning. Why? The man that the Almighty God used to make this statement that if a man die, shall he live again? All the days of my appointed time will I wait till my change come. This fellow appointed time talking about Job actually came. Hello? And your own will come. We have been talking about time, 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 time. Beloved, time is important for man. Time is what? Why? Because God number our days. Psalm 90 verse 12. Psalm 90 verse 12. He says, so teach us to do what? Why? Because time is important for us. Brethren, there are certain things in a man's life that are time bound. <laughs> Hello? There are what? There are certain things in a man's life that are what? Time bound. That's why the Bible says, remember the law in the days of your youth. Because in the days of your youth, you have strength. You have grace. You cannot compare your strength as a youth with an elderly fellow. Praise the Lord. You know it that the strength of a youth is stronger than that of an elder. Most of our mommies and daddies sit here now. Something they could do when they were at their youthful age. They can't do it anymore. Because that is how God had wired man. And so time is very, very of essence as far as man is concerned. And that's why I can pray for you straight away. Your time will not pass you by. Yeah. Sir, there are certain things you can do at a certain time, and there are certain things you cannot do at a certain time. Hello? If at the age of 90 years you are building a duplex. Why do you want to be climbing upstairs? Hello? At the age of 90, what that your mommy needs is what? A country home from parlor to, to room. Am I correct? Not climbing. Am I correct? So you need a duplex when you are still a youth. When you can still jump the stairs. And that's why I decree in that name that is above every other name. For all the youth in the house, your duplex is on the way. Your jeep is on the way. If you are saying amen, say it loud and clear. It's coming. I'm just trying to explain that the way God acquired man, time is very, very important. Praise the Lord. And when you now talk about the appointed time, brethren, you are not meant to remain in your situation forever. 
And that's why Ecclesiastes chapter 3 tells us that there are time and season for everything. Praise the Lord. Is somebody still with me? Beloved, when you not talk about change, a change is simply something better or something worse. Change is what? Meaning, the thing has taken a different dimension, either for good or for bad. But I've come to announce to you, your change is a better one. Yeah. Things will never grow worse in your life. Yeah. You are saying them and say it loud and clear. Yeah. When you talk about change, a change can be physical. A change can be what? Physical. For instance, in Second King chapter five, you read from verse one to fourteen. The man called Naaman experienced a physical change in his body. Why? He used to be a leper. And suddenly the God of change at, the, at his appointed time of change, the leprosy skin became that of a newborn baby. I decree here today anyone that desire a physical change in his or her body before you step out of this auditorium today, my God will perform wonders in your life. He will perform your desired miracle. If you are saying amen, say it loud and clear. When you talk about physical change, for the woman with the issue of blood, she experienced a physical change. She had been experiencing continuous flow of blood profusely without ceasing for 12 solid years. But her appointed time of change came and the flow ceased. I am praying for you. Whatever you are passing through secretly that you cannot even share with any man. You alone is bearing the body. You alone know the pain. In that name that is above every other name. Let the power of change hit you where you are. Now in the of Jesus. Brethren, cloth covers so many things. There are some of us we can't open our mouth to tell people what we are passing through that they don't mock us. But the God that sees to the secrets, the God whose finger can touch anything, I decree, He will touch you with His finger of healing. A change can be spiritual. The man called Zacchaeus experienced a spiritual change when he encountered Jesus. And Jesus said to him, Zacchaeus, this day salvation enter into your house. In Acts chapter 10, when you read the whole of the chapter, a man called Cornelius and his entire family experienced a spiritual change. He used to be religious, but he had no encounter with the Savior, Jesus Christ. And God himself packaged and orchestrated his salvation. And he had an encounter with the apostle of God, Peter. And he himself and his entire family experience a spiritual change. Brother, you can be religious. You go to church. You pay your tithe. But yet without an encounter. If you don't believe me, go and ask that young man that came to Jesus and told Jesus that I want to follow him. And Jesus said to him, no problem. He says, I am I obey the commandments. 
He says, from my youth, I know God. Then Jesus gave him one condition. Hello? Go and sell all that you have. And do what? And follow me. And the Bible says, he went away. How? Sorrowful. Hello? Hello? What is the essence of your life if you can't be a blessing? The Lord set him up for breakthrough. He didn't know. Hello? Hello? Because the Bible says that we should not be weary in what? That in what? In due season, you do what? You will reap your reward. He says, to Noah. He says, see time and have it. Shall never do what? The man thought when Jesus said, go and give all that you have and follow me that he will lose all his wealth. Is it possible? All that Jesus was telling that turn all you had to seed and go and wait for greater harvest but you have no understanding. Hello? I hope if the same test will come to you, you will not fail. You didn't hear me. Sir, your life is useless if you are not a blessing to people around you. And that's why all that Jesus said to him is go and be a blessing so that you can enter into a greater blessing. But you have no understanding. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. After all, Peter that did the same thing that Jesus had the man to go and do. Peter said to Jesus, We have left all things wife, everybody, money, houses, and we have followed you. What is our reward? What did Jesus say to him? He said, Here on earth. You do what? You get your reward. And in heaven too, nobody follow Christ and do not get blessed. Brethren, don't be religious. Have a genuine encounter and relationship with Jesus and your life will become a blessing. So You can actually have a spiritual change. You can have a marital change because somebody will experience it here. Oh, it's been long. You have been waiting for the bone of your bone, the flesh of your flesh. My God, we perfect all that concerns you. If you are saying amen, say loud and clear. So, a time of change can be marital. When a sister will become missus, when a bachelor will become mister, praise the Lord. And you know what? Marriage is time bound. Marriage is what? And that's why I am praying from the bottom of my heart for all my sure sisters and brothers in the house. This period of the appointed time, God will settle your case. And all of you that have children in the house that are of marriageable age, but are yet to marry because you are standing here because you are seated here in that name that is above every other name for your sake God will set to your children and I pray for your children that God almighty will destroy every yoke of delay in marriage Every yoke of marital delay be destroyed in the name of Jesus. One more time, yoke of marital delay are operating in any family represented here today. I command that yoke be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Marital change could be. For the one that is married 
and have no children. When the appointed time come, there will be a change. And the one considered barren will become fruitful. I stand here today as the servant of the Most High in this time appointed and we are talking about the appointed time for change I decree every close womb every close womb every close womb be open in the name of Jesus I say every close womb be open in the name of Jesus let the forgotten at the order of Hannah be remembered in the name of Jesus let the forgotten at the order of Rachel be remembered in the name of Jesus whatever are the medical reports that have caused the delay in fruitfulness I decree whose report will you believe he said no shall be buried in the land Today, let your time of change be now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. But then we are going somewhere. I'm just introducing. Between now and Friday, my God will move on your behalf. I don't know the area you are experiencing, you are, you are expecting a change, but I am telling you, sir my God will move on your behalf. So when you talk about appointed time for change, it could be marital change. Of course, when you talk about appointed time of change, it could be material. It could be what? It could be what? If you don't believe me, add this layman at the get beautiful. Amen. For years, almost 40, he was a beggar. Am I correct? But when the appointed time for his change came, hello, he ceased to be a beggar because he came back on his feet. I am praying for you. Anyone that have crippled you materially, you are coming back on your feet. I say you are coming back on your feet. I say you are coming back on your feet. The widow of Zarafat appointed time of change came materially. Her story changed. In 2 King chapter 4 verse 1 to 7 the widow of the sons of prophet her change came materially when about the time the sons were to be taken into slavery there was divine intervention her appointed time for change came materially and she was able to pay her debt and live wealthy for the rest of her life stand on your feet stretch forth your hand to the altar brother all I need from you and all that God needs from you is your faith is your what? your faith Sir, look at me very well. I can tell you authoritatively because I have suffered before. Though I'm not there yet, but uh, there is a difference. And if God can do it for me, there is no man he cannot do it for. Yes. Sir, your time of change materially has come. Yes. Hear me as I hear God. Your season of lack is going to be over. Yes. And the time is now. Yes. When your time of change comes materially, you move from the realm of scarcity to the realm of abundance. You move from the realm of not enough to more than enough. You move from level of lack to the level of overflowing. Who is God talking to? Ah. 
how many of you here have worn one shirt for six months before? One shirt, six months. Let me see your hand. Okay, only two people are like me. The rest of you can see that you are rich people. I'm telling you, you are rich. You are rich. Meaning your case have never gone worse to the extent that some of us experience. Hello? So what now is the issue that your own change will not come? Whatever you lack today, hear me as I hear God, whatever you lack today, a day is coming, you will have it in abundance. I'm waiting for one day that I'll be angry. And I'll just go to a boutique and I'll tell the fellow, calculate all the amount of all your stuff and I will pay and I will say oh yeah distribute it to everybody on the street do you know why I am angry like that because if devil so dead with me that I am not able to wear shirts some time ago I will buy oh my god I will just go to a factory where they produce shirts I will add what is in your warehouse I will just pay and I say oh yeah take it to the street of Lagos Anybody that come across that street, give them 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. <laughs> You don't understand what I'm talking about. It's just because when devil have death with you, you want to deal with him back. Lift up your two hands. I stand upon this altar. I don't know how many of us desire a material change. You know, material is vast. We are going to go into each of them one after the other. I'm just introducing. Let's talk your two hands. Whatever is it that you lack materially, the Bible says, Blessed be the name of the Lord, who daily loaded all with benefits. He said, The Lord shall supply all my need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. I decree over your life your appointed time of change into abundance has come and it is now move from more, from not enough to more than enough move from scarcity to abundance move from lack to overflowing and I decree any one of you here that is indebted that is indebted that is indebted I don't know the amount you are owing but God will change your time you will not only pay your debt you will be lender to nations I say you will be lender to nations I say you will be lender to nations The same thing applicable to financial change. Brother, poverty is a destroyer. Poverty destroys mentally and physically. Poverty destroys spiritually. Poverty destroys relationships. There are marriages that have scattered because of poverty. Say, useless man. I'm going to suffer with you. My father told me before he died. He said it's not good for man to be poor. I said, Daddy, why did you say so? He said, my first wife left me because his family member came and said, why are you giving birth in sackcloth? Ombi Monsino Akisa. He said that changed his mind. At least my father that I know, he didn't die poor. He did not do all. Mm -mm. But there was a time in his life that because of poverty, the family of the wife came and took the wife away. That's 
the extent poverty can destroy. Stretch forth your hand. Brethren, this appointed time of change, it will not pass you by. I say it will not pass you by. Ah, listen to me, sir. Even if you don't believe it, by the mercy of God, you will have a testimony. Stretch for those sides to the other. I stand here today and I decree expiration of poverty. I say in your lives, poverty expire today. I, brother, I want you to scream that amen and see you believe what I'm saying. I say poverty expire today. I cause poverty to the root in every man's life in the name of Jesus. I say I cause the seed of poverty with that in the name of Jesus. Why? Your appointed time of change is now. Your appointed time of change has come. And I pray for every man in the house. Mommies, please pardon me. Let me pray for men. Every man in the house, in that name that is above every other name, your head will not be bowed. Your head will not be bowed. Poverty will not bow your head. When a man is not living up to expectation, even children could insult the man. Say, what kind of father are you that you cannot provide? I decree every man in the house receive the mercy and favor of God today. In your businesses, in your career, let that be a lifting for you. And for every woman in the house, I decree you will not be a liability to your husband. I say you will not be a liability to your husband. God will make you help me indeed. Listen to me, sir. When the Bible says a woman is a helpmate, it means if your husband bring 1,000, you could bring 500. Am I correct? Can I pray for you, sir? That will be your story. Every woman in the house, that will be your story. I say that will be your story. Any power assigned to relegate you to the background, I command, let the fire of God consume them in the name of Jesus. Your head will be lifted. In your husband's house, your heads will be lifted. In the name of Jesus. And so shall it be. Let me give you the last one as introduction. So when we come tomorrow, we'll now go into the real business. Sir, don't sit down. It's already time. It's quarter past. There's what they call positional change. Change in position. <laughs> change in where? Sir, when the appointed time comes, there can be a change in position. If you want to know this one, go and read the story in the book of Esther. How Mordecai, <laughs> how Mordecai day, when, his, when the appointed time of his change came, he moved from a gate man to second in command. Let me tell you, sir. You know, I said something yesterday. I discovered in my Bible and I shared it here on Sunday that when a time of change comes, one of the things is that you should seek God and you should do all, you should pray. Nobody ever knew that the destiny of Mordecai was for him to be so great. Go and read about Mordecai in the book of Esther. Read the whole of the book of Esther from chapter 1 to chapter 10. 
this man, the Bible says, at the end of his latter end, that he was greater and greater. But sir, he used to be a king's man. But they fasted and prayed. God said, this is not the position that you are meant for. Some of you today are saying, sir, 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 in offices. Whereas, what God has ordained you is CEO. MDC. Sir, that change will come. Yeah. I was listening to somebody on radio yesterday while I was driving home from the church around to eight. And the fellow said, he came to Nigeria from London. He started a business with some friend and they dupe him. Everybody abandoned him. Say, but his family stood by him. He said, Today, today, he's an employer of what? Labor. There was a chief. There was what? Sir, there will be a chief in the next one minute. As many of you standing here who are not where God has ordained you, this is the appointed time of change. Your position will change. If God can take Mordecai from gate man to second in command, Joseph from prison to prime minister, I decree, even before this week be over, let God move on your behalf. Let God move on your behalf. Let God move on your behalf. Name of God the Father, Amen. God the Son, Amen. God the Holy Spirit. Amen. My level don't change, oh. Now God they do all for me, oh. Je, je, je. Lift up your offering. Well, will you come tomorrow? I will confirm. Praise the Lord. Brethren, I'm not saying all these things to, to tease you. But one thing I am convinced within my spirit, man, that something is about to happen. To who I don't know, but I suspect I am first. Lift up your offer and say, Father, a change in my finances. Let it be now. Can I tell you, even before we come tomorrow, how many of want to provoke a change in finance? Let me leave it to tomorrow. I'll share the secret with you. If anybody tell you you will die in poverty, tell the fellow that his demon is small. Why does it? Too small. Too small. Too small. I pray for you. My God will bless you. Increase you. Make you wealthy. In the name of God the Father, Amen. God the Son, Amen. God the Holy Spirit. Amen. We'll see in the evening for digging deep. We we'll continue with uh, Nehemiah the Builder. Don't miss it. And the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. The grace.